Bessemer's Converter Process. The Bessemer's Process was the first inexpensive industrial process for the mass production of steel from molten pig iron before the development of the open hearth furnace. Though named after Sir Henry Bessemer's of England, the process evolved from the combination of many investigator before it could be used on a broad commercial basis. It was apparently conceived independently and almost concurrently by Bessemer's and by William Kelly of the United States. The Bessemer's converter is a cylindrical steel pot approximately 6 meters 20 feet high. Originally lined with a silicious refractory, air is blown in through opening, two years, near the bottom, creating oxides of silicon and manganese, which become part of the slag and of carbon, which are carried out in the stream of air. Within a few minutes, an ingot of steel can be produced ready for the forge or rolling mills. The key principle of the Bessemer's converter is removal of impurities from the iron by oxidation with air being blown through the molten iron. The oxidation. The blowing of air through the molten pig iron introduces oxygen into the melt which results in oxidation. Removing impurities formed in the pig iron such as silicon, manganese and carbon in the form of oxides. These oxides either escapes as gas or form a solid slag. The refractory lining of the converter also plays a role in the conversion. Clay lining are used where there is little phosphorus in the raw material. This is known as the acid Bessemer's process. When the phosphorus content is high, the original Bessemer's converter was not effective in removing the phosphorus present in most British and European iron ore. This led to the production of low-quality steels. The invention in England by Sidney Gilchrist Thomas of what is now called the Thomas Gilchrist converter, which was lined with a basic material, such as burned limestone, dolomite or sometimes magnesite. Rather than an acid silicious material, overcame the problem. Another drawback to Bessemer converter steel is its retention of a small percentage of nitrogen from the air blow. This was not corrected until the 1950s. The open hearth process which was developed in the 1860s did not suffer this difficulty, and it eventually outstripped the Bessemer process to become the dominant steel-making process until the mid-20th century. The open hearth process was in turn replaced by the basic oxygen process, which is actually an extension and refinement of the Bessemer's process. A Bessemer's converter could treat a heat batch of hot metal of 5 to 30 tons at a time. They were usually operated in pairs, one being blown while another was being filled or tapped. An additional advantage of the basic converter was that the process formed more slag in the converter and this could be recovered and used very profitable as a phosphate fertilizer. 